All right, everyone, sit down and buckle up because we're about to go on one hell of a high definition ride at 792p. <laughs> With its power loss protection, affordability, and performance, the SP920 from A-Data makes upgrading to an SSD remarkably safe and simple. We're going to try and quantify just how not next-gen the next-gen consoles are. And we're going to do this by taking our test bench and figuring out exactly how much graphics horsepower is needed to deliver the console-grade experience in Watch Dogs versus how much raw power it would need to deliver a PC-grade experience, basically high resolutions and much higher frame rates. We know that our test bench is overkill and not really comparable to a console, but we chose these parts in our experiment to remove potential bottlenecks and focus on our funky thought experiment in terms of GPU clock speeds, an extremely important factor for gaming. Bear in mind that by removing these bottlenecks, we're keeping the test as fair as possible, and if anything, our lower graphics configuration gets an advantage from the OP CPU and RAM. But how do you remove as many variables as possible and bring everything down to GPU clock speed? Well, by strapping a GTX 480 to it. I chose a GTX 480 because of its ability to underclock and overclock quite well, giving it a wide range of possible performance levels. Things to note are that the Xbox One and PS4, while closer to typical PC architecture than any console generation before, are still actually quite different. We're also not covering power consumption, and we're running everything on high settings all the time. We expect the devs want that experience on any given platform as a baseline, so changing it between runs would just add more variables. And again, we're just focusing on GPU clock speed. The lowest clock speed I could get on my GTX 480 was 405, and this allowed me to run the game at 792p and about 32 to 33 FPS. Yeah. I actually couldn't underclock my five-year-old GPU to be as slow as a next-gen console. PC Master Race problems. If we don't nerf our five-year-old GPU quite so hard, we can get pretty easily to 1080p 30fps, but 60fps is a completely different ballgame. 1080p 60fps wasn't going to happen on our poor old 480, but good old awkward 792p was able to run at 60fps if I cranked to this GPU clock speed up to 875MHz. So yeah, Ubisoft, FPS and resolution are numbers, and so is clock speed. And those so-called next-gen consoles should have had a lot more of all three. Again, guys, I can't stress enough, these are very different architectures, and we're only interested in seeing how much more raw power the GPU of a platform that can run at 792p 30fps would need to run at 1080p 30fps and 792p 60fps. And it was interesting to see how borderline these next-gen consoles actually are because going from 792p to 1080p only required about 40% more raw power, while doubling the FPS required more than double that raw power. Uh, this is bad news for gamers who think they're going to get 60 FPS beautifully rendered games this gen because they're not even close. But this was just a quick and dirty thought experiment, and while it does show a representation of the power needed to get these consoles up to speed, calling it a perfect representation of the competitive landscape may be a bit of a stretch. Also, for the console guys, there are things coming down the line, like MS Cloud for Xbox One and DirectX 12 for next-gen consoles in general. That may help them, but after looking at the performance needed for them to catch up, I think it's possible they're going to need a little bit more than just that. All right, guys, that was just kind of some food for thought. I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments below. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, jump over to the forum and let me know there. If you PM me, there's even more likeliness that I'll get it. While you're on the forum, if you don't like the ads, be sure to become a contributor. That gets rid of all the ads at any contribution level. And if you want a shirt like the one Linus is wearing, not the one I'm wearing, be sure to check out our shirts link in the description below to get a shirt. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it off. Do it, do it, go. We'll get more views. We'll get more likes. Go. <laughs> like for movies.